So what we have here is uh, our version of the 20 objects are core. Um, as you can see, it's very, very thin. So it's skip friendly. All the components are on the back of the module, so you can easily debug anything if, you, if anything goes wrong, even after you put the pods and the jacks. Um, it doesn't have a USB, so you will need your programmer. But the cool thing uh, is that it has an upgraded DAC, so you have a 12-bit 12, 12 SPI DAC. Uh, also, you have individual potentiometers for each analog input. You have two extra digital outputs. In the original ARC order, there were only two digital outs. Now you have four. These are two digital inputs, which are tied to uh, interrupt pins in the microcontroller, so you can uh, very quickly uh, change your code for trigger inputs. So uh, interrupts are very important for that. And the uh, DAC output of the of the of the DAC. Um, so uh, yeah, let's let's plug it in. So uh, here we have it. Um, um, obviously, you need to connect the out. Uh, right now, the the fact room sketch is loaded, so you need to connect the DAC up and provide a clock in. And there we go. Um, I modified this sketch so you have a clock divider on the four digital outputs. So digital zero and digital one are. Uh, standard clock dividers on a half and a, and a fourth, on a quarter, a quarter uh, of every step, and then you have two voltage control clock dividers here. So if we put it this uh, analog two and three on the minimum, they will there will there will be no division. As the original fact room, you can uh, change the sample, but because now we have these uh, connections, it's more easy to have everything on one single pot. So if we want to, for instance, uh, connect this over here, have a little more of a speed. And So you have you control the the sample, and with this you control the pitch, which the pitch can also be voltage control. So this normally is, this is uh, all the potentiometers are normalized to five volts. Unless you connect something, then it will attenuate the signal. From, from 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 the CV input you are you're sending on, and you have the clock dividers over there. I also made another an old sketch, which I'm going to load. It's a it's a it's based on the funk drums, but with Super Mario sound. So it's loading. Loading, loading, loading. So you have this is like the jump, a coin, I guess. This is the jump on the turtle, and it's pretty much the same. So you can just plug in your sequence. 